Here's how to do a double slip stitch. I have 10 stitches in my row. Hook through the first stitch, yarn around hook, pull up a loop. Hook through the second stitch, yarn around hook, pull up a loop. And pull the last loop through the other two loops on the hook. That completes one double slip stitch. The next double slip stitch starts in the last stitch just used. So, hook into the same stitch just used, yarn around hook, pull up a loop, hook through next unused stitch, yarn around hook, pull up a loop, and pull the last loop through the other two loops on the hook. Every double slip stitch made uses two stitches. This means that when I get to the end of the row, I will only have nine stitches made. To finish off the row, I will add a double crochet, single crochet in US terminology, into that final stitch to take me back up to 10 stitches for my row. I'm going to quickly work a row of double crochets, single in US. Now when I turn to the right side, you can see that the double slip stitch has created a horizontal V all the way along the row. This is a great stitch because it creates a lovely looking slip stitch, but it still has lots of elasticity to it. I've used it in my Lagatha cowl and it creates a wonderful, squishy, ribbed look to the fabric.